Hello my friends, it's me again. I wanted to show you this little trick I'm, I'm doing here. See how nasty this coffee pot is? You know, coffee pots just get nasty over time. I just ran some hot water through my coffee pot and I'm going to drop in a tablet, denture tablet, and just one tablet. And you're going to be amazed because here in about 10 minutes this coffee pot is going to be spotless right here. It's just going to be clean as a whistle, and of course I'll still have to wash the lid and everything else, but, you know, it, it, it only takes a few minutes, and these denture tablets eat everything. This coffee pot has not been actually cleaned for about a week. I drink a lot of coffee, so it always gets this nice big ring of stain around the top of it right here on the inside, and so once a week... I run hot water through it, and then I drop a three-minute polydent tab in it, and I let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes, and when it's done, the water's completely clear, well, not completely clear, but kind of clear, and and, uh, and the ring around the top will be completely vanished away. Uh, it'll just dissolve all that coffee off of that glass, and I guess that's why I like the polydent tablets for my teeth. If it'll take a stain off of a coffee pot that's been on there for that's been building up for a week you know it's just amazing stuff I mean you can see it's already dissolved it's already working hard it won't be long now and that water will be completely clear and that stain will be gone and if it'll do that to a coffee pot I don't ever have to worry about my teeth getting stained up at all Okay, my friends, this has been about 10 minutes in now. I had to pause the video for a few minutes, and this is about 10 minutes into the cleaning process. As you can see, it's pretty much dissolving everything in there. Um, and these are hard coffee stains, I'm telling you. They're, they're not easy coffee stains. Now, I can put my finger in there and just rub that a little bit. And look at that. It just comes right off. Um, these are really hard coffee stains so of course Annie's got to get in the camera hey Annie Annie what are you doing Annie what are you doing Annie what are you doing baby you got to get in the camera huh you got to get in the camera huh anyway uh, so you can see what it does to coffee stains so if you're a heavy coffee drinker like I and you smoke or whatever else if you soak your dentures every night in polydent you're not going to have an issue with stains. I've never had an issue with stains, and obviously I use it to clean my coffee pot too, so uh, it's just great stuff. I recommend it to anybody that has dentures. So keep smiling, keep trying, and never give up. What are you doing, Annie girl? What are you doing, baby? You just got to get in the camera, huh? Yeah. And Annie says, have a fantastic day. Right, Annie? Right, Annie? Annie, say have a fantastic day. <laughs> and there, my friends, is the final result of the Polydent tablet in the coffee pot. I just rinsed it out, cleaned it up a little bit. The top is so stained up, it's never going to come clean. But anyway, now you know what it's, uh, what it's capable of doing. Obviously, the top is just, this plastic is never going to come any cleaner than that. I scrubbed the hell out of it with a scrub brush, but it ain't going to come any cleaner. But look at that coffee pot. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is gorgeous. Anyway, I just wanted to show you this. I don't know why. I had nothing better to do the day than to clean my coffee pot anyway. So I figured I'd show you what the Polydent tablets will do for coffee stains and things. And, uh... You know, I know a lot of people are thinking right now, well, you know, dentures are plastic, and if it won't clean the plastic, well, the problem is I couldn't get the polydent up on the plastic. Now, what I could do is take the lid off, put the lid in a pan, and drop a polydent tablet in there, and I would almost bet you that it would get clean. So why don't we give that a shot real quick. I'll just take the lid off and drop it in a pan full with the polydent in it and we'll see how clean it gets.
Okay, so now we know that this plastic is not as hard as denture material, obviously. So we're going to drop this in a pan of hot water. Okay. We're going to drop a polydent tablet in there. And we're just going to see... Of course, I'm not going to stand here and hold the damn phone for 15 minutes while this works either. But we're going to see what this will do to this lid. And look at that. It's already cleaning it. It's already starting to clean it. That's good stuff. Anyway, we're going to leave that sit there for a few minutes. Let it work on it. And he says, what the hell is that smell? And flip it over so the bottom side is down, the dirty side's down. It's where it needs to be because it's floating. So I'll check back with you here in a few minutes and we'll see what it does. Okay, my friends, it's been about 20 minutes on this lid in the polydent. And as you can see, this part is above the above the water here. It's it floats above it. So let's see what the underneath side looks like. Hey, look at that. That's a hundred percent better. It's still stained. Of course, this is very soft plastic. It's going to get... But hell, I'll throw a before and after picture up here, and you can see the difference. That is actually amazing. Um, I didn't think it would get that damn clean, to be honest. So anyway, don't look at my dirty dishes in the sink there. I got dirty dishes in the sink. Don't look at them. <laughs> so we know that uh, very porous plastic, very soft plastic, such as this, you know, like Tupperware, when it gets stained, it's almost, you know, it's virtually impossible to get the stains off of it. But I used the Polydent tablet on this, and it, wow, I am really surprised. Now keep in mind this coffee pot is very old too, and it doesn't get this rigorous of a cleaning all the time. So I normally uh, I normally just throw it in a bath and and call it a day. I mean you know wash it in the sink and shit and call it a day. But let's see if I get that handle to snap back in there where it belongs. Looks like it did. Looks like it snapped back in. That's actually pretty damn clean. I'll turn that on and make a pot of coffee. So anyway, that's the polydent. Um, I probably ruined my nonstick pan using that stuff. Just because of the fact that it's not really, it's not meant for using, uh, putting that kind of cleaner in it. I don't really care about this pan anyway. Not a big, not a big fan of non-stick anything. I do, however, love my cast iron. I do love my cast iron pans. But anyway, there we go. We're gonna brew up a cup of co a pot of coffee here, and uh, we're gonna let that brew. And I'm gonna have some more coffee, and uh, we're gonna be good to go. So now you know what the uh, I'll throw up a uh, a picture here in just a second. Okay, my friends, you saw the coffee pot. You saw how clean it got uh, with the coffee stain around the rim up there. You saw how clean that got with the polydent tablet. Uh, here's a picture of the lid before I put it in the polydent. And here's a picture of it after when it was done cleaning. I left it in there for about 20 minutes. Um, so you can see, I'll put the two right here side by side. So you can see what the difference is between the before and after. Now we all know that that, that soft plastic gets stained. These are not plastic. I mean, they're a form of plastic, but they are acrylic. Acrylic is a much more durable substance than Tupperware plastic. Uh, it's not as porous. It's not as soft. It's a lot harder to stain. Much easier to clean. So, here's the before and after pictures, and uh, I hope this helps you. I've just had nothing better to do today because it's uh, raining again. So, 
I decided to make this little video. Have a great day. Keep smiling. Keep trying. Never give up.